Hey everyone, it's finally here. Apple has just dropped iOS 18 and one of the biggest changes is the completely redesigned control center. With this new update, you can now customize it even further by rearranging the controls and adjusting their size, which is super handy. But there's a catch. Apple still hasn't included one of the most requested features. A full toggle to turn off Bluetooth, Wi-Fi, AirDrop and personal hotspot in one tap. But don't worry, we've got you covered. In this video, I'm going to show you how to create and add these missing toggles right into your control center. Let's dive in. Alright, the first thing we need to do is create four separate shortcuts. One for each function, Bluetooth, Wi-Fi, AirDrop and Personal Hotspot. We'll be using Apple Shortcuts app to do this. So let's open the shortcuts app first. I've already organized mine into a folder called Lock Screen Shortcuts to keep things neat. Now tap the plus icon to start creating our first shortcut, which will be for toggling Bluetooth. In the search actions bar, type Bluetooth and select the set Bluetooth option. Next, tap on turn and choose toggle from the list. Now tap the arrow next to the shortcut name at the top, select choose icon, pick your preferred color, I'll go with blue, and search for the Bluetooth icon. Once you've found it, hit done and that's it. Your first shortcut is ready to add to your control center. Now let's repeat the process for the Wi-Fi toggle, which is identical to the one we created for Bluetooth. Simply type Wi-Fi instead of Bluetooth in the search actions bar. For this toggle, I've chosen a green icon color. Once you've set it up, your Wi-Fi shortcut will be ready to add to your control center as well. Next, let's move on to creating the personal hotspot shortcut, which follows a similar process. Start by tapping the plus icon to create a new shortcut. Then type Hotspot in the search actions bar and select the Set Personal Hotspot option. Tap on Turn and choose Toggle from the list. Just like before, you can customize the icon and color. I've chosen green again with a hotspot icon. Now your Personal Hotspot shortcut is ready for the control center. Lastly, we'll repeat the process one more time to create the final shortcut for AirDrop. After tapping the plus icon, type AirDrop into the search actions bar and be sure to select Set AirDrop Receiving instead of the standard AirDrop option. Tap on everyone for 10 minutes and choose Ask It's Time for more flexibility. As with the previous shortcuts, you can also customize the icon and color. I've chosen blue along with the AirDrop icon. Now your AirDrop toggle shortcut is ready to add to the control center. Next, open the control center. Press and hold on it to enter edit mode and tap add a control. In the search controls bar, type shortcut and select it. A pop-up window will appear. Tap choose and then select the Wi-Fi shortcut we just created. By default, the new control may appear larger than desired, so I'm resizing it into a single sized icon for a cleaner look in my control center. I am repeating the same process to add the remaining controls to my control center, starting with Bluetooth. You'll notice that the custom icons we selected during the shortcut setup now appear in the control center, making the shortcuts look almost indistinguishable from native controls, just like they were designed by Apple itself. At this point, it's worth noting that Apple now allows users to customize similar controls on the lock screen, replacing the default flashlight and camera buttons. However, as of now, Apple does not permit adding custom shortcuts to these lock screen icons. That's it guys, your 4 minute investment has finally paid off. The custom controls are now ready in your control center, allowing you to easily enable or disable Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, AirDrop and Hotspot directly from there. However, keep in mind the potential risks. Disabling Wi-Fi or Bluetooth could impact functions like Find My and other essential services. Thanks for watching guys, if you found this helpful don't forget to like, subscribe and hit the bell for more tips and tutorials. See you in the next one.